when it came to um, using my time wisely and protecting my time, people think that it's about saying no to more things. Okay, that's the common business advice is you've got to get better at saying no. You've sh- you stop, got to stop being such a yes man. And that makes sense. It makes sense to a point. But it's not necessarily like that is, that is chasing after the quantity of more hours. I know that if I was chasing that, that's go- there's going to be an end game. There's going to be t- only 24 hours in a day. What we should be focusing on more is not how do I create more hours in the day, but how do I make sure that the one hour I spent on that task was as productive as possible. Like in the gym. You could spend four hours in the gym, or you could spend one hour. Okay, like if you found a way to make that one hour session or that 20 minute session as productive in terms of tissue trauma, of stimulus on the body, if it was as productive as four hours, fuck yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'd rather do 20 minutes in, in the four hours. As much as I love training, if you're looking at efficiency, you can get more out of less. So I don't even know when it was that I made that connection in my brain, but I realized that chasing quantity of time was had its limitations because there's only so many hours you can there's only 24 hours you can realistically get out of a day. But what what is literally endless is your ability to get a lot of quality out of that quantity. You can always become more efficient at what you're doing. You can always get that work done in a better way, in a faster way, whatever it was. And then you can look at things like, hey, what if I outsource this one hour to somebody else? Then of course, that's creating more quantity as well. And then you get the best of both worlds. But there's no point in creating more quantity of hours for yourself if they're not used productively in the first place. Because then you got, hey, you got 24 hours in a day to, to go train. Like, is that really gonna be a productive workout? It might be, I don't know. But I would rather focus on making sure each hour I spend in the gym is as high quality as possible. And so the next question is, okay, Eugene, you got me sold on this quality idea. How do I make each hour I spend on whatever task it is, how can I make it as productive as possible? And then it ties back to not being distracted. It ties back to that meditative process of when I'm working on writing up an article, there are plenty of distractions. There are plenty out there. But having that awareness of and that ability to not let each distraction derail me, each notification, each email, each message, each phone call, each what, each thought that I that I create in my own mind, letting not letting each one of those things derail my focus is powerful, and that's what we need to be nurturing and be trying to work on more. What has helped me the most with that is um, prioritizing a lot more leisure time, like a lot more downtime. Where the same way that I would book in, I'd book into my calendar training session, a doctor's appointment, I would book in time to write my content or to film something or for for Kevin to come in, we're going to create something. I would book in time to say between this time and this time, this is my socializing time. This is my time where I'm open to go out for lunch with a friend. This is my time where I'm going to read the book, the fiction book that I enjoy. Not the non-fiction nerds, but actually I'm going to read something that's, that I enjoy. This is when I'm going to play the guitar. This is when I'm going to go skateboard. This is when I'm going to go do the things that I really enjoy doing because it gets me out of this one track mind focusing on just nerding out all the time and it creates a subconscious sense of urgency because then I'm like, fuck, I've only got one hour to film this video. I better nail it. I've only got half an hour to write this article. I better nail it. I've only got one hour to whatever it is and then you just, you find ways to become a lot more, um, a lot more productive in that time because you're not giving yourself more time you're forcing yourself to again adapt or die in that situation um, and that was big for me because also again you could very easily instead of prioritizing leisure time just prioritize other productive tasks but I found that leisure was so important because it is so different to what we're used to like having some play time having some relaxation time it refreshes your brain so you can come back to your work and your brain is now fresh what if you like if you just switched tasks from writing an email to now writing your next course to now filming your next course? Yeah, you're doing three different tasks. You're switching between. You're giving the one hour urgency tasks each, but your brain is always in a certain pattern all the time. You're gonna get diminishing returns because there's only so many reps you can do in something. There's only so many reps you can get out of anything in life before you start getting diminishing returns. Before your form goes to shit, your form going to shit in this context is. Yeah, you spent an hour trying to string two words together in front of a lecture, trying to get this out on video, but it was shit and it was wasted. 
You'd be, you were better off in that one hour, spending that one hour going skateboarding, playing the guitar. You were much better off going to do that and do it knowing that it's actually going to help your business work. You were better off spending that one hour not writing up the syllabus for your prescript level two. You were better off spending that one hour for your business taking Kayla out for a nice meal. You are so much better off doing that. Trying to translate that to a business owner when all they know is work, 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 hustle, 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 Gary V, all of that kind of stuff, it's so, so challenging. And this is honestly the only way that I can tell people, this is what's allowed me to create this. That is what's allowed me to create this. That is what's allowed me to be able to not just have fancy things, but to actually grow into the person who knows how to handle and manage this kind of stuff.